Hello Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. You can always take a look at your other placements because you may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. Okay, so right off the bat, I see that when it comes to you and your person here, there's something that you found out. There's some truth that you, has become very clear to you. And right now you're kind of avoiding a conversation caller person or you're putting up some boundaries because you're hurt and you're still angry over a situation that has to do with the past or what has recently passed here. So I see that there's been some type of um, there's been a third party interference Somebody has made an offer and they see that there could have been some type of temptation here involved and somebody was in a relationship or this is an offer to get into a relationship or rekindle and have a reconciliation that has already been made here towards a new passionate beginning and reigniting that spark here. But I see that um, Four of Cups, you are, for some of you, you are are really not sure or right now you're still hurt or angry over something that has happened and you're not you're you're not you're avoiding a text to call a person or you left someone on red here um, or vice versa since this is a general reading but there is this new start with the ace of wands a passionate beginning and somebody really wanting to make a compromise here to move into a relationship or reconnect and reconcile come together because somebody still has love and I see that right now on her shirt it says over it so you may be over it because I see that you could have been rejected before you could have been rejected and now things are starting to turn because we have the runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. So now you're the one that is being pursu pursued, whereas in the past you were the one putting in the effort here. And um, I'm hearing just to have it blow up in your face. So for some of you, there was uh, a third party interference here. Um, whatever that is for you, other people, um, family, friends, lovers, whatever. In your situation but your person they feel like you're their soulmate the star and soulmate soul connection partnership agreement soul contract so they really feel like no one and nothing compares to you they the star card is a soulmate card so they do really feel like you are their soulmate and they see you as the one they see you as marriage material and they want to something long term with you so now I'm seeing that they want to take they they want to make this offer so with the knight of pentacles this has been a slow moving almost barely moving offer and now they're ready to make it because they've been healing and I see they've been receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities when it comes to you and they see you glowing up or they see you as somebody who's very beautiful or handsome and they feel like you are their soulmate. They want to reconcile with you. They want something worth celebrating. They want to they want to bring you some good news here. And um they this person really really wants to be with you because they feel their feelings starting to grow and they want to heal things. They want to make things right and make the right choices, make the right offer. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Okay, so you're juggling whether or not 
you should uh, reconcile or you should keep things at an end. You're really um, up and down about things and you're trying to stay balanced. You're trying to uh, keep your balance in this situation and see whether or not um, this can be fixed or if there's potential in the future for something long term or permanent here but you've already put in a lot of it you've already invested a lot of time energy and maybe even resources into this so I see you considering it I see you're like weighing out your pros and cons and juggling whether or not you are willing to be in a relationship with this person because I see this person offering you a relationship, but you're still hurt. There's still some tension that you, you're holding towards this person that is kind of making you indecisive about this. So you're still holding that, um, you're still angry or hurt over this situation where somebody sabotaged a situation or this person did something without really uh, considering your feelings or your emotions in a situation. And now I see it, it kind of backfiring on this person here. So I definitely am getting that you're, you really don't know. But there's some good news. Page of Wands, this is exciting news. This is word of mouth call. Also travel face to face conversation here. Um, with abundance, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. This is a breakthrough for you guys here. So a breakthrough. There's a lot that's being talked about and it looks like it's going to get very passionate between you two. This is coming from a, a soulmate, Six of Cups, somebody who feels very familiar or somebody from the past. And I see that there is the growth of an already made connection. And it does look like you're receiving some truth. You're getting you're receiving a, a confession that is making you really, really happy. Something that has been kept hidden and that has been a secret. Okay, so there is a mystery that is starting to unreal um, unveil itself here. So this is fate. This is destiny with the wheel of fortune here. Things are now starting to change. Things are starting to change for you guys here. So I see that um, whereas you were the one uh, that was rejected in the past, this offer is now being reconsidered and so this person wants to give you that relationship they want to give you love and they want to choose you and i am getting that for some of you you might just you might just move on wheel of fortune you might just move on and this was fated and meant to be for a lesson to be learned um or you are still not ready to make a final decision yet with the seven of wands you're still not totally ready um and you have kind of turned off your emotions because of fears of getting too close, fears of getting hurt again. So I see that King of Swords, you have kind of um, tapped out right now. But there is an offer, there is an offer being made for you guys here. And I do see that um, with the runner, things are being reversed. So now you are the one in the past you were the one that was rejected and now you're the one that you're really juggling whether or not to do uh to take this offer but this person sees you as a soulmate they they believe you are their soulmate and um they want things to progress so i see that this is a faded situation this was faded meant to be and I am getting that somebody's trying to maintain something here, maintain a relationship and um, also a commitment. For, so since we're all on different storylines, for some of you, you may take this offer. For others of you, you may just move on here. 
So there was a love triangle going on possibly or confusion about it in the past or recent past. So I'm going to get some details for you guys. Okay. So I am seeing that somebody has been really controlling their feelings before. Somebody has felt um, kind of tied up, not being able to be in control of a situation or not being able to, um, to be the one to make the offer first, if that makes sense. I see there's a young female um, or somebody who is, could be very youthful. Somebody could be a blonde female or be a redhead as well. Um, I see that you right now, you are freeing yourself from something or you have freed yourself from a situation with this person and you're juggling your freedom and you're also juggling possibly career and whether or not you want to reconcile with this person here because um, you are very, you're valuing your 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 independence but there is spiritual growth that's going on here somebody could be into meditation yoga i just heard ascending meditation yoga and there's some good news here um that is coming in to help you grow spiritually it's coming in in abundance and I see that somebody could be meditating, visualizing, manifesting through gratitude and a bliss. And I definitely see that there is, with this Wheel of Fortune, things are starting to change now. Things are changing within the dynamic of you and your person here. And now you're the one that is being pursued. So I'm going to get... A few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. I just heard pizza. Someone could be a pizza fanatic. Love pizza. Okay. So your person, they feel they've been waiting for the perfect time. They've been being patient um, to... Uh, have to make a change here they want a change that is going to also make you happy as well as them and this has to this is also coming in with an apology and you're juggling whether or not you want to forgive this person and we have if you believe so there is something has already manifested itself a phone call face-to-face -face conversation word of mouth or, or call that is coming in and it's passionate in abundance and I see that it's still this situation with you and your person it still needs more time because somebody is still not totally ready um, due to fears of, of intimacy or fears of getting hurt so right now is not the right time but this wheel of fortune this will end up turning this is the cycle and this is always changing there's um, good luck and then there's bad luck so when you're having a really um, right now it's not the time but this will eventually start to move okay so this is what I'm getting for you Aries if you like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity and thank you all for watching bye